Hey, what is going on guys? I've got another video for you today, but firstly, let me apologise for that intro. I got a bit carried away with the whole crazy sniper montage thing. Um, there is going to be a montage for all the clips in this game, just like an ironic montage, though not a, um, a serious one, if you couldn't tell by the intro. And yeah, today I'm playing Badwater on defence as sniper, and this is probably my second post commentary sniper so not a lot on this channel but that here is one right today and this one's about just like crazy shots and just playing sniper in general and i don't actually play sniper a lot if you look at my game time for sniper it's around about 40 or 30 hours but take away all like the trade server time and the mess about time it's not a lot of serious play and i don't really practice sniper either i don't think well, no, that that's um, being unfair, actually. There is actually ways to practice Sniper, and it does need practice. But I was about to say it doesn't need practice, but it does. Um, what you need to be able to do as Sniper is hit... That was an amazing clip, by the way. You, you'll see that replayed at the end. But um, uh, the Heavy just fell out the sky. The Medic was there. I identified the target. Down goes the Medic. Anyway, what I was going to say is... What was I going to say? Something about practicing thingies, but... All you need for Sniper, in my opinion, this is what I do, is um, if you can hit the headshots, then that's pretty much the most you can do. The only other other thing is positioning, which is actually very important. You'll see positioning more towards the end game and the angles of shots that you need to be kind of firing off. Because it is is a complex class, but it's probably, I would argue, the least complex class. And then you're going to get all these Sniper people hating on me, but that's my opinion. I don't play Sniper, so I'm probably completely wrong, but... The fundamental fact is that yeah, you can you can hit the heads and you know you do need to do things just as spy does. You know people could argue spy is a very simple class, but target priority is very important in this because it's just so important. You need to if there's a, a whole team around the car and there's a medic and a heavy and a demo. Who are you going to pick first? You're going to pick the medic, then you're going to go for the demo, then you're going to go for the heavy because the heavy is going to take a lot of shots to take down. If he's got a medic on him, it's going to be near impossible to take him down and that uber's going to be building up. So I've been talking about um, enemy priorities and everyone knows about that. If you didn't know, then I think the priority for sniper is medic, demo, heavy soldier, pyro... No, actually, no, that's unfair, actually. It's, um... Sniper is at the top. You you need to kill the other sniper, so the sniper won't kill you. So he's actually one of the first priorities. But if you're in a competitive game, I would probably say medic, then sniper. But, um, sniper, if he's locking you down, you do, do need to kill the other snipers. And you'll see in this game that I do kill all the snipers. But, rant, 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 I'm talking about garbage. And today there is going to be a giveaway for this video, but it's going to have a slight catch and... You'll need to watch the whole video to be able to enter this giveaway and you'll find out why. So, um, yeah, basically I'm going to talk about the sniperness and crazy shots and the angles and stuff like that. So in this game, I got a few crazy shots. You've already seen one or two. One of them was where the medic dropped out of the sky and I blasted him in front of a heavy. And then the next one was a, like a, a quick shot against another sniper. And you see a lot of quick shots and you'll see a lot of positioning in this game and... As you can see now, I'm ducking in and I'm ducking out. I'm also charging my shots right there. I got the headshot on the medic. And also, I'm being a bit patient as well. You've got to be patient with Sniper. And even though this is a crazy Sniper game, and probably one of my best I've ever had, really, definitely some nice clips in there. Even though, you know, this is a pub server, you can still get clips. I don't really um, play Sniper competitive, so I couldn't get the clips otherwise. And I'm probably terrible at Sniper in competitive as well. Maybe it was just a lucky game, this game, but there was a demo clip as well. I think it might have not shown up, but it, has it shown up yet? There's a demo that drops down from behind the scenes, and he gets headshotted, and I like that one. And Spy awareness as well, I just noticed as that spy ran in front of me. There, look at that no scope. And um, spy awareness is very important as a sniper. As you can see, I'm not using the Razorback, because in my opinion, the Razorback is um, useless. Unless you're a sniper that's... What, what the Razorback does, right, I main spy, so I know what the Razorback does. It stops spies from chain stabbing you. If you're in a group of enemies and the spy goes in for a chain stab, he's going to walk past the Razorback. He's not going to stop and shoot it or anything like that. He's going to keep on going. But it doesn't mean that you're invulnerable to spies. It's kind of like the Hue Long heater for the heavy. That's a weapon which creates fire rings around you. And it creates that false sense of security that you're not able to be stabbed by spies and... You can simply counter the Razorback by shooting um, the Ambassador's very good. One shot to the head and one shot to the body and down they will go because obviously the headshot feature. And um, uh, the Enforcer is also very strong. I believe it's a two-hit kill from close range. 
Um, do not stab the Razorback because it's got this stat on it which um, it stops you from cloaking, disguising and also changing weapons or being able to stab for about one and a half seconds which is enough time for a sniper to turn around and bushwhack you to the balls. So yeah, spy awareness again. Keep your back to a wall if you can and obviously if the spy is going to derp around do have a melee battle with him. Because the spy butter knife doesn't do enough damage. He's going to try and shank you and it's going to bounce right off because it does about 20 damage. If he got out his pistol, um, the stock pistol, at around point blank range does 60 damage. So two or three shots and down the sniper will go. But as you can see here, a very popular angle for this sniper. You may have seen this before. For some reason, the demo, he just went for the melee as well. Everyone's going for me today, uh, maybe because they I started a grudge with them earlier in the game. I, you, can, you can do that with Sniper. Once you get infamous, people start to focus you and target you. and It's the same with Spy. I, I call the two classes Spy and Sniper the two classes that can change the game in like five seconds. Because, think about it. In, I always relate to competitive because competitive is kind of like the peak of gameplay for, um, for Team Fortress 2, I believe. And in competitive, if a Sniper quickly gets a headshot on the Medic, um, then the whole game goes on a turn. Everyone's like, right, let's just start attacking now the medic's down, we've got an instant healing advantage. Same with the spy, if he gets a backstab on the heavy and the medic's like, everyone's like, the combo's down, let's go. And it's one of those classes, sniper and spy, the, the game changes um, in very short amounts of time. Every class obviously has the potential to game change, but I believe sniper and spy are assassin classes, I would class them as. A lot of classes in one sentence there, class, 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 class. Spy couldn't stop him, you know, dead ring a spy, it's going to be tough for Sniper to stop them. You know, if you get a Gerati on them, that's very good, but I actually like using the SMG. One, because it does a shit ton of damage, and two, because I fail at Gerati. And Gerati, if you are going to play Sniper, um, and if you want to help your team out a lot, then definitely use the Gerati. I wouldn't recommend using the Sydney Sleeper unless you um, are very good at landing shots, but... The, the, you have to wait for the charge up time and in my opinion it's too long to wait just to apply Gerati where you can get your jar, chuck it on a car and it'll cover about 4 or 5 enemies instantly people are getting mini crits left, right, centre and underneath and as you see there I'm in this angle and I didn't go for the heavy, I didn't go for the spy I went for the sniper, I did get melee in the back there but I went for the sniper and the reason I went for the sniper was because he had the mo most instant threat to me and also my team. He was unreachable by the, the other classes and I was really the only one that could take him out. So it's kind of your job as sniper to locate the snipers and take them down. And then you're free. You know, you're free to do whatever you want when those snipers are down. You can sit back and snipe, snipe, snipe all day long. And one of your main enemies as sniper won't be the spy, but it'll also be other snipers. Because if they know that you're there, it's going to be a one versus one battle you two derping it out from the backs of the maps just shooting each other and this is a nice little vantage point I use people don't actually use this spot on Badwater as Sniper if you can close range snipe I dearly recommend it to you and obviously I die here because I get too cocky with my health but I do recommend it to you um, I just realised I said dearly recommend it to you why would, why would I dearly sound like an old lady um, but if you can close range snipe like this here you're locking down a complete corridor and a complete flank just with a sniper class and that's very effective because most people will go in the spot which is like behind me to the um, the right which has a view of the window and also the cart when it turns a corner but I think this spot is really good especially when people come in, come in one at a time you can actually deal with them and one thing for sniper you need to bear in mind with sniper is you know um, body shot as well. Don't just headshot. Body shots are very effective if you can't land the headshots. I'm just going to announce one thing now. If you do want to be entered into the hack giveaway, 30 likes, you have to like, comment, and be subscribed. But you also have to use the keyword in the middle of the montage at the end, and you'll see that at the end. So that's just to filter out some of the people that um, enter the giveaways but don't actually watch the video. Because um, I'm obviously. For these giveaways, I'm giving them away to people that enjoy my videos. You know, if you're, um, I don't want to be giving you, I, uh, sorry, it sounds bad, but um, I don't want to be giving you stuff if you don't want to enjoy my videos. I don't want you to be coming to my channel if you don't enjoy my stuff. It's a waste of your time, and I don't want to be wasting anybody's time. So, yeah, this is for people that have, you know, enjoy them and stuff like that. So, that's cleared out of the way. Keyword, put it in your sentence, it'll be in the montage. You'll see what I'm talking about.
So, yeah, we'll be playing Sniper. As <laughs> of course we're playing Sniper, oh god. And um, one thing I'm going to start mentioning now is the red dot on the end of your Sniper Rifle. And sometimes you will see me not aim directly at the target, like here. I was aiming below that window pane. wasn't a very good example, but you saw it. And if you don't aim at your exact target, people can't see the dot and people don't know you're there. So a top tip, you'll see me sometimes, I'll point it out if I see it again. When I aim at someone and I look at them, I don't aim directly at them because behind them on the wall, you'll see a red dot. This is a bad example. <laughs> this is like there. I put it against the side of the wall so they can't see it. And that's um, stops people knowing I'm there, kind of. It's not very good in this situation because I'm obviously out in the open, but what I do in this point is here, look at this vantage point. There you go, I got him. And the reason I got him was because I changed angle. If you stay in the same angle and try it and try it again, it's not going to work. Change your spots. And I'm going to um, talk about something really stupid now, and you might find it really stupid. I watched a movie called Enemy at the Gates. Um, I've seen it a few times, actually. It's always on TV for some reason. And it's about snipers in Stalingrad against Germany. And they pretty much won the battle for Ger for um, Russia in the Stalingrad uh, battle. And that pretty much ended World War II, the loss of Stalingrad. Anyway, I'm ranting on about history and you guys do not care. But watch that movie. I actually learned some things about Sniper that I use in my gameplay. I know it sounds stupid, but things just about moving, being unpredictable, be unseen. Don't let yourself be seen and... And, you know, I use it with this red dot technique, you know, I put my red dot on the car instead of at the back of the wall, so people just can't see that I'm there, and it does give you that slight advantage that helps you out, and I haven't been getting as many crazy shots later in the game, maybe that's because these angles are now longer, and I'm calming down a bit, but I'm still hitting the shots, you can hear the hit sounds, if you can't then, I've obviously turned the game down, game sound down low, and the reason I turned my game sound down low is because there was some um, foreign people, um, talking down the mic and it makes no sense to me so it might distract from the video I don't know <laughs> but there was this one time where they killed me and with a soldier melee and they were on the mic and they were laughing uh, the guy that killed me so I, I obviously um, entertained him or I upset him and he was happy that he killed me finally because I don't die a lot in this game I'm being honest I sit back and that's what sniper should be doing he should be sit sitting back but not being inactive you got to be active and as long as you're not really going to die that much, as long as you kill the other snipers and stay back and rattle them headshots down. But this game, um, thank you for bearing with me for this um, bad water crazy sniper game. I'm not sure whether I'll go through with that title idea. But um, thank you for watching this game. It's not over yet, but it's you've seen the basics of the gameplay. What really I do on bad water and how I play sniper, even though I'm, I don't play it much and I still can do well. I forget how many points I got, but we do win the game. As you can see, the car's quite far away, and we've got not much time left. And I think I get 41 points, which is probably my highest ever as sniper. Sorry about that. Just did a silent burp, <laughs> which will disgust you. See that soldier there? He's taunting right now. Um, he obviously sees me in that window, but that's very good because I'm actually wasting his time. You know, he's trying to, like, distract me and get me mad and stuff. But he's actually up there doing nothing instead of pushing the cart. But I think this is the part where I get two shots on him. And I was really upset. Not upset, but really um, annoyed that I didn't actually kill him. And I do die to not him, but that soldier there, which is dead. So thank you for watching this game. Prepare yourselves for the epicness of the epicness of the montage that's about to um, go down. And um, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.